This is a very famous water painting by Hokusai. It's called The Great Wave. I love looking at other paintings for inspiration. Have you read this book? It's one of my favourites. It's got the most beautiful description of the sea in it. The man whose mother was a pirate tells the story of a little man who sees the sea for the first time. He opened his mouth and the drift and the dream of it, the weave and the wave of it, the fume and the foam of it never left him again. At his feet the sea stroked the sand with soft little paws. Further out the great graceful breakers moved like kings into court, trailing the peacock pattern sea behind them. Why don't we try and paint a big peacock pattern sea like he did? I'm starting off with spaces where I'm painting tiny curls of white and then I'm going to paint around them so I have light in my sea which will give it a little bit of interest and I'm using all the blues in my paint palette and then I'm going to start adding in some greens. If you look back at the other picture you can see all the colours in the sea. And I'm leaving light parts, I started off with a little bit of sand and I'm using swooshing shapes with my brush to make it look like crazy waves. I've got a nice wet page and a nice wet brush and I'm letting all the colours mix together on the paper. For this one I'm using a white pastel pen and I'm showing you how the waves look smaller as they go further away. I'm putting wave shapes on my page that get bigger as I get towards the bottom. Now I'm adding in smooth blue for the sky at the top. Smooth, see how I'm smoothing it out with some water. And then again I'm going to use all my colours. And look at the magic! You can see how the pastels leave white spaces for the waves. And now you can see where I drew tiny ones at the top, medium sized ones in the middle of my sea, big ones at the bottom and I'm swooshing and mixing all those colours with lots of water. You can still see that I've got greens and blues but see how they all blend together to make new colours? Finally we're going to do a very famous bit of water and I'm using all those pastels in different colours now. Watch me sketching. Can you guess what it is? There's a very famous boat at the front a very famous red big wheel. Hmm. I'm adding lots of simple buildings. Have you worked out where my very famous skyline is yet? <laughs> I'm going to add some colour now. So I'm adding over these buildings. And you can still see the windows and the details I painted. Tiny bits of sky above the mountains. Using the green to colour in the hills behind the buildings. back to the fun part. Here's the water again. 
So this is why we're learning to do different kinds of water, so we can add it into our drawings. So there is my Hong Kong.